Kaylee, going back to the international front on um, China and India, you just mentioned that the administration is monitoring the situation, but <clears throat> the president has mentioned that he would be willing to mediate the, uh, ten the conflict between China and India now. If he were to do so, what does that look like? Does that mean, does that look like a one-on-one -on -one conversation? Does that mean bringing the two leaders together? Has the president indicated what mediation looks like for China and India? Um, so again, no, no formal plans on that beyond what I already said and expressing our absolute um, condolences to the Indian soldiers that died as a result of today's confrontation. We extend our deepest condolences there. Um, and I would note just that during the phone call on June 2nd of this year that President Trump had with Prime Minister Modi, they did discuss the situation on the India-China border. On the relationship between President Trump and President Xi, um, the Chinese forces have been moving thousands of troops to that region. That It doesn't seem like that region is going to see de-escalation anytime soon. If you were to characterize President Trump's relationship with President Xi today, would, yeah. you, would I, you venture into that realm? I, I would just say what the President has said before, um, that he is really appalled at the fact uh, that the, uh, the coronavirus came out of China. They weren't allowing um, flights into China, but were allowing flights out. They slow walked information. Uh, the WHO uh, seemed to partner with China in slow walking that Im information about asymptomatic spread. Um, so that is an appalling uh, state of events, and the President is very upset um, by that action of China or inaction in some cases, I should say.